An own goal by one of his ministers has forced Malcolm Turnbull to defend his attack on Labor's tax policy. The friendly fire overshadowed the Prime Minister's long-awaited defence white paper. I'm, uh, I'm In this election year, tensions between the parties... We see this ridiculous obsession... At least I'm honest, Bill. Yeah, well... You're a fraud, mate. No, mate. At least I'm not a homophobe either, mate. And tension within the party, with the Assistant Treasurer appearing to sink the Prime Minister's attack that Labor's negative gearing policy will destroy house prices. They've got a policy that is going to increase the cost of housing for all Australians. I can only assume that the minister was referring to new housing. For all Australians. Really? All Australians? She later had to clarifying, saying she was referring to new property, but the damage was done. When you increase demand for new property, you will push up prices. Labor bombarded the Prime Minister. If you can't even get your scare campaign right, doesn't it just show that your government is in complete and utter chaos? And Malcolm Turnbull continued the scare. The new home prices will go through the roof and existing properties through the floor. Is it now the Prime Minister's position? Housing prices will go up, housing prices will also go down, and Australians are meant to be afraid of both. Labor's policy is a profoundly dangerous one. It threatens families' biggest asset and it threatens our economy. They are putting Australian savings at risk, they're putting the values of their homes at risk. The government hopes the focus will tomorrow switch to defence and the release of its long-awaited white paper into future demands and strategies. Spending will go to 2% of GDP by 2023 and it's expected to provide more submarines and an extra 5,000 troops. Lane Kelcutt, 9 News.